All right, guys, we are back. It's another day. This is Troy D from the Troy D 24 7 Mall on point reviews all day, every day. Thank you for being here. Thank you to our new subscribers and our loyal supporters, subscribers. Thank you. Welcome back. Hope you guys are enjoying the ride. This is pretty awesome because six months ago, I never thought that uh, I would get to this, but here we are. You know, we're. Uh, We've been able to try so many perfumes that we are doing no hype reviews on and it's really catching on. So thank you so much. So today is an interesting one. Today is super duper interesting to me, you know, because this is a real versus clone comparison. A well-known heavyweight in the perfume world versus also a well-known heavyweight in the clone world. So this is really interesting, guys, and I I jumped on this, guys, the moment I got it in the mail. So today we're going to talk about Parfums de Marley, Leighton, one of the heavyweights. You can call him Mike Tyson. Parfums de Marley, Leighton versus the always sold out Dua Royal Chariot Atar. Okay, this is not the atar like the the small one that you know that you drop on your uh, your wrist. This is a it's just they call it a sprayable atar, but it's Dua Royal Chariot Atar. This one is a heavyweight in the Dua uh, landscape. The sales are astronomical on this. We're gonna talk about these two guys. I could not wait once I got these both. So here we go. Let's hit the music. All right, folks, welcome back. Parfums de Marley Layton versus Dua Royal Chariot Attire. First and foremost, I want to thank a couple people. I want to thank Scott Aranda for uh, loaning me this uh, Layton right here. Uh, this, I believe, is the older version. Okay, so uh, you can tell because the bottle is a little bit different. Uh, my friend bought a Layton like uh, last year and it looked different it was like a bluer bottle so uh, please confirm with me guys any perfumes the Marley uh, knowledgeable peeps if you want to let me know but I think this is the older version this is the same one that I had and um, I want to thank Jeremy from Texas as well who sent me Dua Royal Chariot Attar okay so it's beautiful as well you see the artwork it's pretty cool now, this one really, really intrigued me because uh, Leighton is one of my first uh, fragrances that I always swear by. And then Dua Royal Chariot Attar was like this one that was like always sold out. And uh, it was really interesting to me because uh, Dua has many uh, chariot style um, hybrids that do not sell out, you know, um, but this one. The one that's purely Leighton, that's the one that everybody's grabbing on. So, you know, either Leighton is really so popular uh, in the fragrance world that even the people wanting the clones really want it. Or this one has started to create its own uh, following. You know what I mean? That they, they're, they're really just buying it because of the Dua Royal Chariot Attar, which I think is both. Okay, now let's talk about them one by one. Leighton right here is the, to me... One of the best panty droppers, you know, ever. And the reason for being is because uh, it has, uh, I'll just call it the Parfums de Marley DNA, which is basically a little bit dry with a little bit spice and sweet, okay? Sweet and spice, whatever you want to call it, right? It has apple, which is, uh, is prevalent in a lot of PDMs, okay? But this one is a sharp green apple. And it's uh, mixed with uh, spices, lavender, vanilla, and other woodsy and green notes. Basically makes it really likable. But it has a kick of pepper in it. Uh, cardamom that makes it, you know, sweet and spicy like I said. And this one is, uh, like I said, uh, most PDMs have this DNA. I'm so used to it. And, uh, you know, any, any bachelor should definitely own one of these okay that's in my opinion now uh dua royal chariot attar is uh like i said it is a inspiration of layton and, and layton only 
And uh, when you see the word chariot in the duas, uh, there are uh, other duas that have the word chariot on it. It basically means they blended in uh, Leighton with something else. But this is the original pure Leighton Royal Chariot Atar. Now, this one is billed as Leighton on steroids. Okay, so uh, that's the marketing on it uh, or the feedback of uh, the people, uh, the duo fans that it is Leighton on steroids. And that is a... Wow, that, that really hits my imagination there because I thought Leighton had steroids, <laughs> you know. For me, I was like, Leighton is already on steroids. What are you talking about? This must be a freak of nature then. Um, if if this one is called Leighton on steroids, this must be an a, a totally like a freak of nature. It must be crazier because I thought that Leighton was already like that. So, um, yeah, that's Dua Royal Chart Atar. Now... The moment I got this, I mean, I've been having this latent for a while, and I told Scott, I said, man, we're going to wait until that Royal uh, Chariot Atar comes in, okay? So once the RCA came in, oh, I was like, bah, bah, bah. I was like, spray, 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 let's get on it. I, I want to feel the steroids. <laughs> I want to feel the, that, 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 that uh, uh, Royal Chariot Atar DNA because I'm so used to the latent. And here are my findings. Okay, okay so comparing the two guys... Um, I will tell you this, that the main difference, okay, between the two, and there is a difference, is the DNA of each, okay? The DNA of each is really totally separate, okay? Uh, this one, like I told you guys, is crisper. It's much crisper. You could say drier, uh, maybe because of its composition. And uh, this one here is not. This one is like a, a, a dewier, uh, oilier um, uh, type of DNA that... You know, you can see it in all duas, okay? So it's not it's not like it's only Royal Chariot Atar. So when you spray both, it's a little bit different. Leighton, um, I believe, is just uh, much crisper on the intro, where this one, if you're used to duas, then you'll feel that, you'll smell that kind of like that oil-based, dewy-style uh, opening. Uh, and uh, there, there is no sharpness on the apple of this one, okay? This one has a sharp apple. And uh, this one has the cardamom. I think that the spices here are are much stronger. Whereas with this, okay, and I think this is why people love this, is because the other uh, really likable uh, notes in Leighton are more prevalent than the spice. And what I mean is, you know, the, the green apple, although it's not sharp, it's still there. It hovers around as well as the lavender. The lavender hovers around. The jasmine hovers around geranium hovers around um it's more i think this one is more like lavender jasmine you know than this one okay so i can see why people also like this one you know they also like the uh the scent um the opening is not that similar definitely because of the dna for sure but i will say this that in terms of the vanilla the vanilla in both of these are pretty prevalent. I think that there's more vanilla in this one, okay? I smell more vanilla in this one. I feel like they packed it with a lot of vanilla. Uh, this one has uh, you know, a relatively good amount of vanilla as well. But uh, like I said, there's also the spices that uh, conquer it a little bit more. So I think that that's really, to me, the main, 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 main difference is the opening. Um, again, drier, sharper apple. Uh, more spice, more zing. This one here is a uh, slow starter, but still has those notes. More on the lavender, I think more on the vanilla. Um, more on the more likable, you know, more likable known scents. More on the jasmine, you know, like it comes out a, a lot more here. And then eventually, both of these come together on the mid to dry down. Uh, you could say maybe like an hour an hour or less than an hour uh or probably like an hour an hour yeah probably like an hour they, they come together on the dry down then it starts getting uh pretty similar okay now i think when people say this is latent on steroids and people love it they're like yeah man i i wear it in the office i get compliments all day in the office i'm talking about royal chariot atar i think it's because this dry down is the one that lasts you know and it's it's similar like i told you it's very similar on the dry down and this is the one that lasts this is the one that packs its punch all the way through your workday 
and i think that that's what causes all the compliments it's it's quite different i don't know like for me um i i would never think of wearing layton to the office i think that this is such a fun bachelor type scent but then you have the dua royal chariot attar which people wear to the office and that pretty much to me it confirms to me that you know the the beautiful dry down of layton is basically in this one and it lasts longer or you could say it lasts a whole work day and people love it of course because i mean who doesn't love you know vanilla lavender jasmine you know with a hint of like you know apple and orange you know what i mean like you'll get your compliments you know what i'm saying so to me guys uh this is quite a tussle to me um i almost like i don't it's almost like i don't want to compare it because it's kind of for me, like this one right here is sort of like a, a 75% clone. You know what I mean? 75% to me. You could say, I mean, for the Dua diehards, y'all could say 99%. But I think it's the dry down you're talking about, you know? Because I have to factor in everything plus the intro, the, the opening in the, in the mid notes. And I will say this, that most people, let me just say this. Most people buy Layton because of the opening okay most people buy Layton because of the opening that this one doesn't really copy exactly um, but like I told you before in the beginning of this video I think that people buy this because it has its own following people love it that there's an extended dry down but uh, most people will buy Layton because of the opening because it creates a very sexy first impression is something that you're gonna wear when you walk through the door and you meet your date or you're at the club and you're meeting somebody new amidst all the smoke or whatever you know other scents at the club that's what Layton is for you know for me okay and that's why I would buy it it's it's the opening is definitely an impactful uh, impactful intro that is great for uh, bachelors you know uh, now the royal chariot attar is not necessarily that the 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 opening is not like that at all but it is a grower it it eventually uh grows into the uh it turns into the uh, pdm uh latent smell a little bit later on but it is loaded with the notes that really general people find attractive you know and because the dry down is very similar and it lasts pretty pretty long I think that this is also an ideal work scent because it will not have the panty dropper intro vibe. You know what I'm saying? Uh, you don't want to have that in the office. You know what I'm saying? And you just want to smell good. You want to uh, be appealing in the office. And so I think that this is why, uh, because it this one retains the appealing uh, side of it that this has, and it lasts long because of the oil concentration and whatnot. Okay? So, I mean, I think to me, it's safe to own both you know it's really safe to e even own both really uh, because of the purpose uh, as i've stated you know um if you have this and you price this juice because it's it's quite expensive then wear it on those uh nights out or you know stuff like that but then if you're gonna go to work and you're just gonna meet you know your same co-workers that you meet every day uh yeah you might want to change it up and uh smell good get that promotion Royal Chariot Attar. It's going to last you the whole day. If, even if your boss calls you at, you know, 3.30 p.m., you probably still smell like this. I, I mean, this one really projects well as well. I mean, they, they both do. You know what I mean? But I just want to debunk the whole steroids thing. Now I get it. It's it's basically the dry down lasting longer. And uh, that's really what I smell. And, and uh, I don't know if you can call that steroid. You can just say uh, extended release or something like that. You know, <laughs> I'm a medical guy. All right. So uh, that's it, guys. That's my review on both uh, Layton and Dua Royal Chariot Attar. Both are really interesting scents that I think have their own following. If you like this video, make sure you like this video and subscribe if you're new. If you're a Dua fan and you would love to uh, know my thoughts on Dua or you are just getting into Dua and you want to know everything without any hype, you know, there's a reason why friends are sending me their duas because it's two things you know i don't bash perfumes but i really kill the hype i make sure that you guys know what you're getting into uh you're not gonna just look at uh oh it's on steroids and then you're gonna start imagining things you know what i mean i'm gonna break it down why it's like that why do people say that um and so if you really want to know the real deal then please subscribe to this channel okay um and to those that uh love pdm you know i got more pdms for you guys okay so um, until then, guys, I appreciate you. 
Thank you for being here on the channel again. Thank you for to, to Jeremy and thank you for to Scott for this. And I'll see you on the next video, guys. Take care and God bless.